Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News in Shinrin Yoku. And we have an earthquake swarm out here at the Blanco Fault, the Blanco Fault Zone. The Blanco Fracture Zone or Fault Zone is out here on the Mid Ocean Ridge, on the Juan de Fuca Ridge and the Gorda Ridge. And in fact, it connects the two of them. Now, they are, that's part of the Mid Ocean Ridge system here that is independent of the Cascadia Megathrust not related. And we're going to get to that. A lot of people out there are fear-mongering about this insignificant uh, swarm of events. What we have going on here is uh, two 5.8 magnitude earthquakes have occurred off the coast of Oregon. And we're showing you five point, uh, we're showing you several of them. I don't know what's happening here with the data set. Um, but we do have a uh, low bandwidth here. So we're trying to work with you. The fear mongering is unfounded. There have been much larger quakes on the Blanco fault zone, including the M6.3 back in 2019 in September, when the same fear mongering happened and we had the channel up. The Blanco fracture zone is not something to be worried about. Uh, no geologist has any fear of that having anything to do with the mega thrust or causing a mega thrust fault. The verdict of seismologists, there's no increased risk on the Cascadia Fault. If Cascadia does rupture soon, it won't be because of the latest earthquake here on the Blanco Fracture Zone or dozens of earthquakes, however you look at it. There is more pressing earthquake activity inland at some of the volcanoes, like that small quake is more pressing than this entire swarm. Now, this is a transverse fault which connects the two mid-ocean ridge portions, the Gordo and the Juan de Fuca, and it simply releases pressure. The release in pressure here means that no slippage happens at the mega thrust. So the exact opposite is happening. Because there is pressure released here at the Blanco fracture zone, there is no transverse action at the thrust fault, the mega thrust, where the big 1700 quake occurred on the Cascadia mega thrust. No relation, so no fear. So stop fear mongering. And read the article in Scientific American why the Blanco fault zone earthquake is fun, but not fearsome. It's unrelated. The mid ocean ridge activity here and the transverse faults, these transverse faults reduce stress from the mid ocean ridges. They do not increase stress on the subduction zone mega thrust here, the 1700 quake. The 1949 deep quake and the 1965 deep quake on the mega thrust, nowhere near the Juan de Fuca plate or the mid ocean ridge. So the Cascadia mega thrust fault is safe for now, but the fear mongering, well, it will continue. I'll leave you links to Cascadian subduction zone so you can bring yourself up to speed. And that's certainly a boom to knowledge. No fear mongering necessary. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like minded people and be safe. The Blanco Fault Zone may be fun, but it's not fearsome. It certainly gets views for the fear mongers. And that's a boon to knowledge. Be safe. We love you. Mm -hmm.